hi hi hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is dura and i'm currently learning spanish as my focus language and korean as a slow pace one so welcome to my three month spanish progress update video i feel like that's a long title but yeah let's just get into it so in a matter of three months i've gotten exposed to spanish a lot and i have learned the basic grammar rules i've gotten some you know quite number of vocabs and yeah this video is to let you know what i've learned in the past month if you have not been following my journey then i would suggest to you to watch my past videos to see my progress of how far i have come until this video so it's been three months officially i am filming this four days after the official date <laughs> today is 24th of october but it's supposed to be on the 20th but i did not have the time to feel so without talking too much i'm just going to be letting you know all that i've learned in the past month more vocabularies more grammar rules my speaking level you know my listening level and all of that so let's just get into it because i do have a lot of teas to share with you guys and at the same time i don't want this video to be too long so let's go so if you've watched my two months progress video you would remember me saying oh by this video i want to have about 1000 vocabularies checked well today you guys will be the judge of that you guys will be the judge of if i have up to that amount of vocabularies and i'm going to explain why i said so so as, I was, as at this moment i have about 500 words in my vocabulary minus the ones i can't even feel like oh i know this word that I just eventually feel like, oh, I know this word. The ones I have written down are about 500 points. Now, y'all know that each verb has a lot of conjugations, and I did make a short video. I may link it here somewhere or include it in the description box below. Anyway, you see that I explained that verbs have a lot of words like a lot of words. <laughs> So this one, I only did the past tense, present tense, and present continuous tense with the verb itself. It gave me 14 words. So with all the verbs I know so far, I did not make a count, but I know I have gotten quite a number of verbs. If I multiply them by 14, I'm very sure I would have over a thousand words in my vocabulary. So now, the question is, am I supposed to count those conjugations as vocabulary, like as one word itself, or just because I already have verbs and their conjugation, they shouldn't be counted? Please let me know because I'm quite confused and you guys let me know if I have over 1,000 words or I am still at 500 words. That is the update for the vocabularies. Now let's get into grammar structures now. I've learned I've learned a lot of like grammar rules and all of that and uh, I recently did a past tense and uh, it was like a whole new world. I was like, oh my god, you know then these irregular verbs oh, oh why did they like why? Why like the verb asar the past tense have not even like been taught yet but i was using google translate and if i want to say i did or i made it's going to be ise mm? if i want to say you did or you made it's going to be a sister if i want to say she did it will be heja hiso so i'm like why why are you not stable please have mercy on the english speaker <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I have to know a lot and a lot and a lot and I'm like oh God, can I do this? Can I really do this? Well, I know I can. I just need to keep practicing. So that is basically where I'm at in terms of my grammar you know, structures and there is this other thing I'm having a challenge with because during my early mm -hmm, lesson, I think that was about two months or so into Spanish 
there is this less my god which means if you have to do something is it tengo que balayar like tengo que balayar is it tengo que balayar contigo hoy that's a line from despacito and the que de we all know that que sometimes can means que or que so what is the cat doing there? I have to dance, dance. <laughs> I have to work dance, but the teacher said care has to be there. Like it literally has no meaning, but it just has to be there. Fine, understood. Now there's this other one I'm having issue with, and I think it only comes out when you're using direct object pronouns and indirect object pronouns. So like no, like this say the word say we know like if i say you say it means i know right but this is not a matter of the verb no this is just say so it does not have the um the accent so like what is it doing there i did watch a video that explained that it's kind of like when you're trying to give an excuse like i forgot something it's like you're giving an excuse so i'm still trying to familiarize myself with that thing and I feel like it will really help me a lot if I get a quite grip of grammar structure in helping me building up my sentences. Right now, I feel like I'm still meh. But I consider myself an A to speaker because mm -hmm, at this point that I know all the things I know here, I just need to keep putting them out. And that brings us to the last point of this update video is a language exchange partner. In the Montsu video, I did complain about my country not being <sighs> sad. But Hello Talk, um, Tandem, they're not available in my country. I don't know why I have to use VPN, but the thing is, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to use VPN. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like it might get to that point because the people I know that know Spanish that are actually native speakers. They don't have my time. They don't have my time. So I'm sad. I'm not sad. <laughs> I can't blame them. Everybody has a life and we can't. It does not revolve around me. Like, who am I? Oh God, why am I singing today? Anyway, so um, the plan now is to be doing more speaking practice video. So you guys are going to be getting speaking practice video of me just randomly speaking Spanish for like a minute or two, depending on how long I can hold a reasonable conversation. Not me jumping from one um, statement like one oh I was watching then I say I was doing you know like nah we're not going to do that. So I won't try and be making sense if I'm doing this speaking practice video. Then I'm also going to just put more effort into this thing and just download the one of those apps while using VPN. That's the best way to do it so that I can get someone that is actually wanting to learn as well that we can do it. Although I hope I eventually find someone that can really help me in terms of, oh, let's just chat for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It's enough for me. I'm not greedy. Do you get me? So if you're out there and you're watching this video and you have time, even if it's just once a week, Please, I'm begging you, don't make this pretty girl cry. <laughs> I'll leave my Instagram handle on the screen so that you can reach out to me. I'm very friendly. Mm -hmm. I don't bite, <laughs> so we can you know work things out. I will do by your own schedule, not mine. So yeah. That brings us to the end of the update. That's how much I have learned. That's how much I've been doing. And yeah, I came hmm, up with three tips that really helps with building vocabularies really fast. I feel like I should have mentioned this before, but I did forget when I was talking about the vocabs. So I'm going to be making a video to share these three tips because I feel like I have not seen anything like this on the internet. Maybe I haven't searched well enough, but these three tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, oh my god, it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna open a new world to you, right? As you're trying to learn vocabularies, because the thing about vocabulary is not just learning it, it's not forgetting. And that is why I love these three tips I'm going to be sharing. So watch out for that video. And for you to be able to get to see that video, you need to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell so that you don't miss out when I upload new videos so what is the plan 
planned for the coming months into month four. Oh my god i can't believe this like i feel like i should pop champion right now because i have never taken this long learning a new language i, I tried to learn french before i was inconsistent i tried to learn dutch ha! <laughs> i cannot even remember any single thing i learned <laughs> With French, I learned a bit of it in school, so I just know the little things there here and there. But Dutch, nada, nada, no se, no se. <laughs> What's anything in no se? Algo, algo. I need to know what anything means in Spanish. So the plan now is to actually. Like I've explained, look for a someone that can help me with the speaking practice, or I'll just have to use those apps. And also, I need to start writing. I need to start journaling, start testing my writing skills with Spanish. And I've not been reading books, so I found this nice beginner website called SnappySpanish.com. Oh my God! I read the first story there, and it has like one line Spanish second line english i think it's helpful because i was able to like overall ganar the verb ganar which is to win i was able to learn it from the story and the story was quite fun because it was about someone a, a mom that won thought she won the lottery ticket and when the daughter was like came home celebrated with her i was like oh my god i'm jealous of my mom she won that amount i was like oh let me see the ticket and then she was like oh my god all this needs to be like i don't know how it works but she was like all this needs to be circled or something like that and the mom was like oh my god <laughs> because she called everybody she already told everybody she's won big money and all of that so it was funny and sad Mm -hmm. There's nothing like feeling like you want something and finding out oh it was never yours to begin with. Like there's nothing, there's nothing there to win. So that's my plan, and I also plan to watch movies, to start watching movies. I've not really been doing that, and I feel like doing that because the reason you need to watch movies is to help with your listening skills. You get, and I'm not really going to rely on music for listening skills. Yes, because even songs in my native language in english and yoruba i don't always know what they are saying until i look at the lyrics i'm like oh so this is what this person was saying because i end up singing something else there's a song by one of um nigerian artists olamide and it goes i'm happy i know but they always say i'm a piano so it sounds like i'm a piano so i'm like ah if i never saw that lyrics i always be thinking he said i'm a piano when he says i'm happy i know so it's not always like that so that's why movie is for me is what i'll be using for my listening skills you know to develop that and uh, all of that so that brings us to the end of the video sir i kept looking at my book here yes so i'm excited guys i'm really ex really really not really 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 excited for the oncoming month and how much i could learn so you guys should watch out for the, my four months videos and all the videos are coming in the middle of the month I have a lot of beautiful content planned for you guys, so you guys should definitely watch out. I'll see you in my next video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Give this video a thumbs up to help with the algorithm and to let me know that you actually like the video. Mm -hmm. And if possible, drop a comment. If you are learning Spanish, let me know how far it has been for you. How it has been, 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 been. Why does this keep, keep changing my face? When I move closer, it changes color. When I move back, it changes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye bye. Adios, amigos.